Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Playwright Framework Development Series. So in the last video, what we have seen, we have already covered Jenkins and we have integrated with the GitHub, uh, sorry, we have integrated with the Selenium Grid Hub also. We have created our CICD pipeline, Blue Ocean pipeline. We have seen how to write the declarative pipeline syntax and how to trigger the test cases from Jenkins. And in today's video, what we are going to talk about, we are going to talk about that what do you mean by ngrock proxy server. Through that server, we will uh, try to connect with the webhook and then we will try to trigger the event from webhook to ngrock and ngrock to Jenkins so that the moment you try to push any code to your Git repository, automatically the code will be triggered, your test cases will be triggered from the Jenkins part. So this ngrock proxy will help me uh, to trigger this particular job and we just need to configure ngrock proxy we have to set up ngrock proxy on the on our system and then we will connect with the webhook so webhook is a feature of uh, git repositories we will go to github and then we will go to a repository and then we will create one webhook and then we will give the address the url address of this particular webhook so we will uh, hit this particular api uh, through the webhook and then the moment we try to uh, push the code that's it. You don't need to trigger the job manually from here, from the Jenkins. It will automatically take care of it. So we just need to write git push origin master to the branch or master branch or any branch. And then the jobs will be triggered from here directly. Right. So what we need that we have code available. We have git repository available. We have Jenkins setup is already done. And then we just need to set up this ng proxy in between. So let's see how to do this. So in order to download the ngrock proxy, what we will do, we will go to simple write ngrock download and you can download on your Windows machine also and you can download from your uh, Mac machine or Linux machine as well. So here you can see that let's see for Mac machine, you can download this for Windows, for Linux, through Docker also, there is one Docker image also, you can download that. I'm going to do one thing, I'm going to download this particular zip file, you can install with brew install also on the Mac machine, on Windows machine, you can install with uh, Choco or you can download this particular 64 bit file also. I'm using Mac machine, so I'm going to use this particular download. So let's download this and here you can see that one zip file will be created over here. It's around eight to nine MB. So let it download and then we will uh, go to this particular uh, downloads folder. So let's go to the downloads folder. The zip file is available here and I'm just going to unzip it. And this ngrock proxy is available here. So you can see that this ngrock, I'm already having it previously. So I'm going to delete this previous one and then rename it to ngrock back to normal ngrock. It's available in my downloads folder. Now what we have to do here is that we will go to the terminal. So let's go to the terminal and then we will go to that directory where exactly we have uh, downloaded that ngrock proxy. So we have already in the downloads folder. You can see with the PWD, I'm in my downloads folder. Now what you just need to do here is that it's saying that after that you just need to add the authentication token and then you have to start a tunnel over here. So how will you start the token? How will you generate a token? Because without that token, you cannot start the server. So you have to authenticate the ngrock proxy. So what you just need to do here is that. So this is the ngrock proxy. If you see that once again, that uh, this is available here. So this is one executable file. So we just need to execute and we have to generate the authentication token. So you simply write dot forward slash ngrock and then whatever let's see write this authentication token this is the option that you have to use and then it will give you one token uh, for you so here you will see a, a token what you can do after first to generate a token you have to log in first so you can sign up so let's see i'm already having one account over here so if you really want to sign up you can sign up with your uh, github account or google account as well so i'm going to log in directly over here so here you can see that okay yeah so you can download directly from here as well otherwise it will give you one authentication token here so this is my actual uh, token so i'll do one thing i'll just copy this token from uh, here to here that's it so copy this go back to the terminal and then simple write your token number here and after that it will generate a token so it's saying that authentication saved to this particular file some ngrog yml file will be created then after that, what you just need to do, you just need to start the ngrock proxy server. So here it's saying that in order to start the ngrock proxy server, that uh, HTTP 80. But remember this thing, according to our design, 
my ngrock proxy server should be connected to jenkins and my jenkins is actually running on port number 8080 so we have to write ngrock please connect to http which portal 8080 portal so this is the black screen is coming and here you can see that now we are this proxy is online this is my account over here we are using the free plan and uh, here two urls that will give it to you one is http and another one is https url you can see that and this is the url which is actually you can see the forwarded arrow uh, arrow pointing to localhost 8080 and this https is also uh, mapping with your localhost 8080 so we are going to use the secured one and just copy this url and then after that we will go to the github so let's uh, go to our github repo and uh, from this repo we will search for that the playwright pom series the pom framework that we have developed i mean the the framework that we have developed with the playwright and then you will go to the settings part over here in the settings part you will see one option that is a web hook option you will see it over here just click on it web hooks and then see one web hook is already running so i'm just do one i'll do one thing i'm just going to delete this particular web hook so let's delete that let me enter my password and then confirm the password and then i'm going to add a web hook once again so remember you have to go to the repository i'll show you once again after that go to settings and then click on web hooks so web hooks is the feature of github and then where you can just uh, give the ngro proxy url here so click on add web hook here and then after that you have to enter the payload url so whatever the url that is generating over here this url the http secured one url from here to here up to ngrog io just copy and then paste it here after that you have to add one more path parameter here that is called you have to write github hyphen webhook and then one forward slash that is what you have to write here and then the secret is nothing content type is application on url encoded type we are not passing any json so let it be like this this is enable ssl uh, verification because this is https call and then we are using this uh, for just the just uh, to push the event and then you click on add web hook the moment you click on add web hook then uh, let's see it is getting connected or not so we will check the connection here is giving you that okay yeah the connection has been established and then you can see that one uh, connection ttl output also we are getting it and this is the post call internally and then we are getting 200 okay response code here it means this is absolutely working fine and then you can just uh, refresh this page and then you can check that yeah it's coming in the a green color it's saying last delivery was successful if you really want to see the logs and everything you can check go to the recent deliveries and then you can uh, click on it this is the id and then you can check that okay yeah this is actually connected with this github uh, repository perfect so here we can see the logs and everything and uh, this is absolutely working fine we are getting 200 response code also nice now what we have to do here after that we will go to our jenkins where exactly the job that we have created so let's uh, sign into Jen uh, jenkins server and uh, the job last time that we created either you can uh, configure your ci cd pipeline also or a plain job that we have created last time the maven job that we have created the maven project maven project they write jenkins setup and then you click on configure after that just need to scroll it down slightly and then here you have to do what here you have one option that github hook trigger for git scm polling earlier this checkbox was not checked you have to check this checkbox see this checkbox carefully github hook trigger for scm polling and then apply and then save it and that's it now what will happen the moment you try to push any code to this particular repository this web hook is actually connected with this repo and then the moment i push my code to the master branch then immediately or any branch then immediately my <coughs> this particular job will be triggered because in this configuration also we have given this job and then trigger the code from the master branch so if any check in is happening to the master branch then automatically trigger the job from there okay through the ngrock proxy so let's do one thing i'll go to my uh, workspace where that we have written this playwright pom series i'll try to make some small change and let's see is it really working or not so i'll do one thing i'll go to my testng.xml file and then i'll try to let's see add some one more small thing here 
that if you remember that last time okay let's do one thing i just want to execute my home page test and uh, the safari test not on the chromium okay so let's comment it out and then that's it that's a small change that i have updated or any change in any code you want to update your locator or anything we just need a small change here so that we can push the code so in order to push the code what we have to do we have to go to the uh, so let's go there let's see this is a playwright uh, directory here the project that we have written let's go to the terminal and we will try to push the code with the help of git so first of all that i'll check my status here you can see that okay yes one file regression.xml file got updated here and i'm going to add this file and then i'm going to commit this file let's see i'm writing that updated um, regression xml file okay and now see this carefully the moment i try to push my code to the branch master branch i'm not going to trigger my test cases from jenkins here you can see the last build happened on 27 september and today is 29th September and then automatically it will generate the build number 10 over here the moment I push the code within few seconds it will try to uh, trigger the event to Jenkins so let's see see git push origin master the push is done now I'm waiting here and you can see that within a second the build number 10 got generated and it's in the pending state and then after a few seconds this build and this build number 10 will start over here now you can see it got started and then it should trigger my test cases if you have if you are running on selenium grid or locally or whatever it's up to you so here you can see that maven lifecycle uh see maven lifecycle got started over here and then the test got started and uh, here you will see that uh, the browser is getting launched the playwright and the chrome browser both are getting launched over here you can see that and my test cases are absolutely working fine this is my webkit and this is my uh, chrome browser okay on chrome browser we are running the home page test cases which is like absolutely working fine you can see the logs and then everything will remain same your reports and everything will be generated properly over here without any problem okay and then you can see that eight test cases are there all my test cases are absolutely working fine and the overall build is actually uh, successfully done over here and all my test cases fine so this is amazing right this is if you uh, come back to the diagram i mean this design diagram once again that is what we are doing you just need to push the event and then that's it whenever you want to uh, push it and then automatically your builds and everything will be generated and will be triggered automatically with the help of ng raw proxy and webhook and it will trigger the event through jenkins same thing you can do with your cicd pipeline also what do you just need to do let's do the same thing with the cicd pipeline so let's go to the dashboard and then the pipeline project that we actually created this one let's see do we have any option there or not so let's go to configure and uh, let's see see here also we have this option github hook trigger for git scm polling that's it and then click on apply and save it now let me just uh, try to push the code once again so i'll go back to my eclipse and this time i'm saying okay fine let's run it on chromium browser or let's uh, okay let's run it on chromium browser this is just a small chain so that we can at least push the code okay so let's do that this time again i'm going to add it and let's see commit and the same commit reason i'm giving and git push origin master push is done and let's see the pipeline is getting triggered or okay maybe uh, because this pipeline is already running maybe after that because uh, the uh you know the single job execution is already running the single job is already running maybe then after that it will trigger this so let's see is it really happening or not now you can see that uh, the playwright jenkins setup is still running over here you can see build executor status here and now the cicd pipeline got started here can you see that so obviously it's in the sequence because in both the configuration we have uh, enable that option that polling with SCM so that's what like you can see that now the this is also absolutely working fine and here you can see that test cases are getting triggered here see right so through the job also and through the pipeline also you can do the exactly same thing and here you can see that uh, Jenkins setup in the playwright also working and now you can see the pipeline 
and uh, the latest pipeline is number five is running and you can see my pipeline got triggered okay so see here build number five the pipeline is still uh, running here okay same thing after that it will be updated in your open blue ocean pipeline also after some time so overall what exactly i'm saying is that this is absolutely working fine and then uh, the test cases and all everything is running correctly and perfectly over here so i hope you got to know the concept of uh, ng rock proxy how exactly it is uh, working and then how to uh, configure all those things and then we are applying some devops activities in our framework also to improve and then set up the environment the structure and everything that's all for this particular video guys i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all